Oh, hey, hi. I'm Chris and Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. I'm about to beat the living pants off of someone in a race, and I'm going over today's science file. Today's science file, it says... How do you win in a foot race? Well, that's an awesome question. Try this. Tip number one, we are going to talk about your feet. Yeah, your feet, because you can't run a race without them. Well, well you can, but it's like a whole lot of brain power to figure that one out. Okay, if you're going to be sprinting, which is what most races are, you want to make sure that you land on the tips of your feet, and you want to make sure that you keep your heel off the ground, giving you a little bit more spring power to run your race. Tip number two, you are gonna run with your body as straight up and down as you possibly can. Oh yeah, and keep your arm at about a 90 degree angle. Oh, and by the way, you wanna run with your arms going through, not from side to side, you know, like this. Tip number three, you are gonna do a little warm up by running back and forth a couple of times to get your body prepared for a run. That's where you're gonna kick on the jets and turn up the speed. So, how do these tips actually help you to run faster? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. Terrestrial locomotion is the movement of animals over the Earth's crust. Landing on your front toes allows you to create a spring action that shoots you forward. Many vertebrate terrestrial locomotives run on the tips of their feet, including some running lizards. Keeping a straight body posture helps keep your balance during your run, as well as minimizes the amount of energy that your body needs to use, allowing you to put more energy into your leg muscles to move you faster. Many vertebrate animals that run on two legs keep a straight up and down posture, like ostriches. Moving your arms straight through mimics the four-legged animals we evolved from, creating maximum efficiency. Doing a couple of short back and forth sprints helps to warm up the leg muscles and get your respiratory system ready to deliver a high oxygen demand that comes with high speed running. Many vertebrate animals such as cheetahs have large lungs and a huge heart, allowing them to maximize the amount of oxygen to circulate through their bloodstream. All vertebrate animals, fish, amphibians, reptiles, mammals, and birds have adapted to terrestrial locomotion evolving appendages that aid in pushing off the ground. So now you know how to beat someone in a race. You know, using these three tips to beat your friend in a race is why science is so cool.